The closure to a longtime legal battle, Junior Seau's family reached an agreement with the NFL. The former Chargers suicide had been linked to CTE, a brain disease caused by constant blows to the head from football. Our tennis reporter Anthony Perra is in Oceanside with what we know about this settlement. Junior Seau is a San Diego icon. He's an Oceanside native, graduated from Oceanside High School back in 1987. Since his death, his family's been in a legal gridlock with the NFL that's now come to an end. Junior Seau was relentless on the field, compiling a highlight reel of big plays and big hits. He spent 20 years in the NFL, 13 with the Chargers. Today, his ex-wife Gina, their children, and Betty Hoffman, the former head of his foundation, dropped a lawsuit against the NFL after reaching a settlement with the league. In an ESPN 30 for 30 documentary released last month, Seau's daughter Sydney described her father as someone larger than life. He was humble enough to always give his all in every aspect of his life. That's why his sudden suicide shocked everyone in 2012. Seau shot himself in the chest. Doctors determined after his death, Seau suffered from brain disease, CTE, and depression caused by repeated hits to the head. In 2016, the NFL reached an agreement with thousands of former players who suffered from concussion-related brain trauma. Seau's family was eligible for a $4 million payout but opted out of that class action lawsuit to pursue their own claim. They are not disclosing how much they settled for today. But the attorney commended Seau's children for their perseverance during the lengthy six-year legal fight in a statement saying, throughout this process, they have demonstrated the same spirit and commitment that their father, Jr., modeled during his incredible life and NFL career. We know he would have been proud of them. There's also a lawsuit against the helmet company Rydell. That case is still pending. In Oceanside, Anthony Perra, 10 News.